Did you ever want live TV for free on your Apple TV, in Kodi, or on any web browser, including your mobile phone? Well, today I'm going to tell you about US TV now. You can either go the free way, get seven channels. You can also get 28 channels for a limited time, $19. And you can get unlimited channels with a DVR so that you can DVR all the shows, as many shows as you want. Uh, for $29 a month. Now, to try it, well, you can try it with the free channels. That's all your basic ABC, CBS, uh, CW, Fox, NBC, PBS, and my Channel 9. So this is uh, a way to try it out if you like. Uh, you can use this in a web browser. Uh, if you're signed in, you got a TV guide. Now I have the top of the line service here. So I'm going to get all of these channels here uh, to stream uh, right to my web browser anytime I like. So for instance, if you wanted to watch CNN, we're developing an alternative to expensive prescription. And it'll start playing it right there in the background. Uh, you want to go to Comedy Central. Oh, 14 months. Go so ahead go ahead, that. laugh. You go to ABC. Roadhouse, Roadhouse. See, yes. We even got Fox here. Tonight at eight on Fox 43. And it's got a pop-out window that pops out, and you can continue to take a look at the program guide. You could select movies and check out what movies are coming up. Uh, you also have highlights here. And it'll highlight different shows and tell you what channel that they play on. Now, in the guide, because I have the top of the line, anything that's playing live, I can watch live. But if it's a future, uh, I can hit here and hit recording, and it will record it for me. Then when I go to my schedules, I'll see all the things that are planning to be recorded. I can set it to record and recurring. And then I have shows that I already have in my DVR that I can watch anytime I like. Now, this wouldn't be the greatest service, and I wouldn't even be making a video about it if it was just the web. You can also get this in Kodi, and you can also get this in the Apple TV using an app called the Antenna app. Now, this app has to be side-loaded. Now, you could do that with Xcode and the source code, which I'll put in the description if you have a developer's account. but. If you want an easier way to do it, you can go and use iPorn Store, and you can get a one-year subscription for $12.99 per device. Go into my account. Let me go into my account here. So now here's my account, and I can put Cody on here, Livewire, the Popcorn Times, and they they work for me. In case you're wondering, um, I have a different type of YouTube here. I got The Simpsons, uh, every single episode and a whole bunch of other apps. Now this app down here is brand new. It's called Antenna and you use it with the uh, US TV Now service. So basically I would hit here and download it. I click here, it gets co-signed because I'm a member of iPawn Store and it will download right to my downloads folder when ready. And then you'll see the download in here. Here it comes. Actually, let me do that again. And here's the app right here. That's the Antenna app. Uh, so now we have the Antenna app here, and we can go into my apps here, and I can down, uh, you know, open up iFunbox. And here's my Apple TV. It's connected via the wired uh, USB to USB-C in the back of the Apple TV. And I hit install app, and I look for that downloaded uh, IPA, and that's the Antenna app right here, antenna app, and I hit open and it'll say some, it'll go through its process and download it right to your Apple TV. Now let's go to the Apple TV and I have all my uh, iPawn Store apps all in one folder here. Uh, like I said, this is the beta for Popcorn Time as well as the version that's the stable version. We have Cody here and we have um, antenna and these were all side loaded using the iFunbox app and they were all these apps are signed uh, because I'm a member obviously. Alright, so let's go into Antenna. 
And this is the Antenna app, and when you first go in it, uh, you have to go in and you have to log in. And I have uh, all channels. I have the top shelf, and these are all my channels. Now I can reorder these ch channels. I can move them. I can favor them. I can do whatever, right? And if I go to guide, I'll have a program guide like you normally see. And these are all my channels. I have all these channels. They'll automatically have you sign in, and all these channels will show up. Let's take a look at ESPN and see what it looks like on the Apple TV um, through the Intent app. And I'm going to swipe down. It clears up. These are all uh, MU38s, uh, things like that, like playlists. And uh, you can even go into a future event and you can record it if you like. And then you'll have it in your recordings. So let's go back and I can go to recordings here. And I have all of my recordings that I showed you earlier. I can uh, watch them anytime I like. I record it multiple times. I record it like four things in one uh, sitting. Uh, everything was at 8 o'clock, four shows, and I did them all. I could search. And basically, that's pretty much it. It's a very basic app, but it's got all of these great uh, shows. For uh, $29, you get all these channels. Um, you know, it's hard now to get the Comedy uh, Channel right here, Comedy Central, and uh, you can watch Archer and all that stuff. If you're news, uh, CNN, Cartoon Network's hard to get now um, because there was some sort of merger. Um, and then you got the CW, and you got all your local channels. Here are your local channels. Now, these local channels might not necessarily be your town. Uh, these might be local channels to some other channels, so like the news will be in that town and won't be yours. But all the TV shows that play, like if General Hospital plays nationwide on the ABC app, you'll get it. So now let's do Cody. All right. So it's easy enough. You side load, and you side load, and you go, and you put your antenna app. Now we can go and see Cody. So we'll hit Cody here. Now, I made a, uh, an, a video earlier in the year, and the video was about putting a source in um, that worked. Uh, and usually people, when they install Kodi, they put uh, tv.ag, you know, tv add-ons.ag. Uh, but it doesn't work on the Apple TV that way. Um, Apple TV blocks that add-on, uh, that repo. Uh, so. I'm going to link a video uh, right here in the upper uh, right of your screen in the eye. Uh, you can click it or in the description, and it'll tell you how to get the best uh, uh, repo installed on the Apple TV version of Kodi. Okay? So uh, these are, that's the source there. I'm going to show you that. Now, if I wanted to add the TV, the USTV.now, I would go in and click on add ons under video. And I scroll down, and you're going to see that I find it right here, uh, US TV Now Plus. So here is US TV Now dot plus, uh, but you might not see it right away. So you're going to hit Get More, and if you go Get More, uh, it's going to pop up a screen in a second, and then in the Get More screen, you're going to be able to go down and find the uh, US. TV now. Okay? All you gotta do is click it and install it. So let's make pretend we found it. It would hit install here and you would install. This is not it, but I'm just giving an example. I already have it, so uh, once I go back and I go to my video add-ons, I'll have the US TV now. And uh, you only get this if you have a source in there. Now, if you're using this on Android, you can do the TV dot uh, add-ons dot AG. Uh, or you can do the sources that I told you, um, and I'll put those in the link to, to the video. And you can go in, and now you have it installed, and you can hit Live TV. And it'll turn on. Um, the first thing you want to do, actually, is you want to go in into Settings. So you go into Settings, you click it, and it'll open up. It takes a while to load in the first time around. Um, so it's going to load up, and then you have to go into account info right here, 
and you know you sign up for that free account um, and if you sign up for that free account you can get started at least and then if you decide later that you like the idea uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know purchase the monthly so I have it all set so that I could see all of my stuff including my recordings my live TV so now let's go to, to live TV and it's gonna show you all the channels that you have live TV on right at this moment uh, if not you can go into your TV guide and your TV guide is set up in a way where you can just scroll through and you can even pick and choose uh, what you want to record if you want if it's a future event or you could just watch that channel uh, a few Ohio State Buckeyes open up so let's go to my recordings now and you'll see we have the recordings and if I wanted to I could just watch my shows so that's how you install it on Kodi and how you can install it on your Apple TV with the antenna app and the Kodi app. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Leave your questions in the comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got lots of cool videos coming up very soon. Have a nice day, and I'll see you on the next video.